docket we have the hooker one hooker one hooker one hooker one these trainers have been absolutely everywhere haven't they the last um, few uh seasons i think they kind of maybe rose to prominence would you say off the back of the triple s's maybe um I, i'm sure uh, kiko would probably argue against that you know he's always trying to tell people he's always trying to remind everyone when when he was wearing these first but um i'm sure we might have seen hooker one trend maybe before we saw the triple s's from bless Yaga. i'm pretty sure we probably did but but anyway because because of the, the the kind of upsurge of chunky trainers and chunky sneakers in general there's been a everyone's trying to look for the next big thing to wear what's the kind of thing everyone's going to wear i'm seeing a lot of people wearing the etsy or etsy's they've been everywhere for the most part i see people wearing loads of buffalo sneakers i'm seeing people wear a lot of the technos uh from uh, nike and shit but what i've really liked model wise has been the the hooker ones especially the trail the hooker one trails right yeah tall trail or the tall ultra trail they did a really good collaboration with these um i'll get them up on screen they did a really good collaboration with these um with engineered garments they did a the whole colorway um they did i think no two colorways i think they did like a sand and the all black pair that i think a lot of youtubers have been wearing that look fucking amazing um and then the kind of shoe oddly enough that work really well with really um kind of dressed up looks and really casual looks. I've seen people wear these with like really smart pleated trousers. I've seen people wear these with jogging bottoms, with chinos and shit. It's a, one of those really oddly versatile shoes that works really well in both cases. And of course, for the for the kind of like you know quintessential streetwear kind of urban explorer guy, these are probably the perfect shoe to wear because they look as good as they would look in a business meeting as they would look on a night out with your friends. And uh, Hooker have kind of um, or Hoka have kind of introduced loads of new colorways, and um, they look great. They're all kind of in the same sort of model with a tall ultra low it looks like some brushed way there the general sort of construction by and large people i've seen on youtube talk about them they're, they're fairly light they're uh, compared to what they look like um, i'm not sure who the creative director is that uh, uh one is doing is introducing all these kind of more uh street level um models but whoever's doing it is doing a fucking incredible job whoever's kind of like steering the ship there over there because again these colorways are amazing so we've got like an olive colorway that i've just previewed here on the screen that looks fucking great then we've got this blue sort of like is it do we say can we say blue yeah say it is blue it's also green is it yeah we've got a blue suede uh finish here again i'm liking it it's completely all one color even the midsole everything everything's um tonal which looks fucking awesome with a vibrant soul uh we've got the completely black colorway that i'm sure is gonna be really popular with people that missed out on the engineer garment shoe because it looks very similar to that and by and large just like fucking great great model i think they did a fucking awesome job with these um they're due to come out when i think they're priced at 265 us dollars which is about what 200 quid uh no release date set oh actually release date for the first of march at the moment they're quite hard to get i think um, the, the site isn't the best um the hooker one site i gotta be completely honest um i'm not sure if they're gonna um redo it or they're gonna have another kind of like offshoot site that kind of deals with the people that want to buy them for the streetwear looks per quote unquote but it'll be cool if a lot more accounts like picking them up because you know they're quite hard to find to buy retail for the most part you have to buy them i've seen a few people buy them through ebay especially the boots that people like or no through amazon sorry um i've seen people who buy them directly from the site but the site only deals in euros and it's a bit odd in terms of where you're going to post them and they're going to get shipped from the store i don't know it's a bit weird how the, sh the shopping experience isn't the best so i'm hoping that more accounts pick them up number one and i'm also hoping that maybe they are able to kind of create like a maybe another miniature website on online store that kind of caters to the streetwear crowd to the crowd that's kind of made this model popular in the first place that would be great or maybe even generally have a pop-up store somewhere that would be fucking awesome if they could do that so if anyone in that hook or hook one team is out there and you have those plans in mind please let me know so i can share with my viewers but yeah the shoe looks amazing it's the hooker one it's the hooker one tall ultra low in uh, that seems like four colorways right you've got the olive you've got the blue you got the sand no olive blue and black right yeah three colorways and they look fucking amazing um due date is the first of march uh retail probably about 200 quid but they look awesome